Ready on the red team, here's Melissa David Dorf. Yeah! Ready on the green team, here's Jim Post. Yeah! Teammates at home, ready on your cubes as these contestants try to string hexagons across the board. Now here's, your, here's the keeper of the hexes, Flippo's best friend, Bob Marvin. Yeah! Hi, everybody. Hi, red team. What do you say? Let's hear it. And hi, green team. Hi. All right. And we got to have a high for our announcer, Darlene. That was terrific, Darlene. Let's have a hello for Darlene. Okay. Hey, good evening to all of you. And you at home now, please touch buttons C. That's column C, button number one, to let us know you're playing our game with our contestants here in the studio, okay? Touch now, all right? Okay, here's how we play. Two contestants here in the studio are going to be moving all over this board. Here you go. Hello, CJ. Let's have it for CJ. <laughs> CJ's going to do a lot of running today. He's our company runner, right, CJ? Right. Okay, they'll be running all over this board, our contestants, hoping to capture hexagons, and that'll be with your help. And the team wins by capturing hexagons all the way across the board, either from top to bottom or from side to side, okay? Any way they can get them. I know there'll always be a free hex also somewhere on the board, and either team can use it to win, okay? Thank you, CJ. Let's meet our players right now, all right? Red player, Melissa David Dorf, come up here. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Fine. That's good. How old are you? Um, um, almost 10. Almost 10? Uh -huh. How much is almost? Two months. Two months? Oh, that's close, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What school do you go to? Torah Academy. Torah Academy. That's terrific. Are you married yet? No. Huh? No. You got a boyfriend? Engaged or anything like no. that? No. Well, I'm glad to meet you. Okay, I want to meet Jim Post now for our G a green team, Captain Green Team. Here's Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi. How are you today? Fine. That's good. And how old are you? Twelve. Twelve. How do you like Melissa? Is she cute? <laughs> huh? Kind of. <laughs> I thought you'd like her. I just thought I'd ask that. Uh, what school do you go to? Jones. Jones? I didn't ask you your name, uh, last name. I asked you what school do you go to? Jones Junior High. Oh, Jones Junior High. It's a yeah. school. Jones School. Oh, would you believe I went to McKellacuddy High School? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I did that. Okay. Well, these are our two players now, and it's now it's time for you to decide at home uh, which team you'd like to play with during this first week of Across the Board, okay? Remember, it's your decision, but you will remain a member of the team you have chosen for the whole week. You got that now? And, of course, there'll be prizes for some of the winning team at, in our home players also at the end of the week. We'll have more about that later. Right now, pay attention and listen carefully. If you would like to be a member of the red team, okay, and we'll let them cheer you on as you touch button number one now. Touch now, red team. Let's hear it. Cheer them on. Touch them. Okay. The computer has collected your responses, okay, and your message lights should be on right now. Now, that's if you decided to be a red player. Okay, doke. If you want to be a green player this week, ready? Green player this week, touch button number two at home. Touch now while the green team chairs. All right, green team. Okay. Okay, all green player message lights are on now. Got that? Be sure to remember your team assignment throughout the show. The red ones were lit first, green ones were lit the second. All right, studio players, pay attention because here's how we play the game. Both of you are trying to string hexagons. That's the six-sided figures. Hexagons, we're going to string them across the board. Okay, this way, this way, any way you can in your team color. Now, to do that, your opponent's home team, your opponent's home team will tell you how many hexes you may move on your giant game board. You can move in any direction as long as you don't land on a hex that your opponent has already won. You got that? You can't jump on one with her no matter how much you're crazy about her. You got that? Yeah. All right. All right, Melissa, you ready? Yeah. You're going to go first for the red team. So all green players at home now, pay attention. Touch one, two, or three to determine the number of spaces that Melissa will move. Okay, go to your starting points, Melissa. You over there? All right, now we're ready. Touch now. Pay attention, Melissa. We'll see how many. The computer is computing right this minute. All right, how many? Computer. Two, Melissa, you get to move two spaces. Pick your spaces and move two, Melissa. One, two. You notice how Melissa thought that out? She's thinking right from the beginning. Okay, Melissa, you're on. You be the judge, Hex. You ready for this? 
Now, pay attention to this question. Of the how many people, 18 players now are playing with you, of the 18 people playing at home with us right now, how many of them do you think ever copied their friend's homework? Okay? If you guess that within, how many are we going to guess within? Within 10. Okay, we got 18 players. You have to guess within 10. Your team wins a hex. You at home, if you've copied your friend's homework at any time, touch one now. One is for yes. If you've never copied, touch two. That's no. We're going to ask Melissa what she thinks. All right, Melissa, out of 18, how many do you think copied somebody's homework? Let's say five. Five. Melissa says five. What does the computer say? Oh, you got it, Melissa. Computer says six. Let's hear it, red team. We got that hex. Okay, here comes CJ with your hex. Drop it right in there, CJ. All right, now then. Okay, you ready, red team? We have to vote now. Touch in to determine how many spaces Jim's going to move for the green team. Ready? Touch now. All right, Jim, they're touching in for you. They'll light up behind you in a second. Watch it, Jim. It's coming. The lights really do work. Don't worry about it. Jim's going to see a green light and take off. What do you say? How many? Oh, there they go. Finally, we got them. Will you check with the electrician for me, please? Get a cartoon ready. Okay, two spaces. You ready? Move two, Jim. One, two. Okay, Jim, you have just landed on the telegram hex. All right, home audience, are you ready? Where's our home audience? Tell me who sent this telegram, home audience, and this is for Jim. Dear C3PO, I've just escaped from the sand people. And Darth Vader wants me to make myself into a garbage disposal. <laughs> if it weren't for Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker, I'd be mashing trash today. May the force be with you. Signed. And here are your choices. One, R2-D2. Two, Oxy-500. Three, I ate too much. Okay, home audience, which is it? One, two, or three. Touch now. Your fate hangs on the audience's choices, Jim. Are you aware of that? Yeah. <laughs> Whether or not we get this hex. All right. Which do you think it was, Jim? Um, One, two, or three. Who do you think they picked? Um, R2-D2, Oxy-500, or I ate too much? Which one? Um, one. One, which is R2-D2. Is that correct? All right, green team. We got that. Let's hear it. Hey. Come on, CJ. Let's have it right there. All right, now we got the green team voting. Oh, we got a prize for Jim? Jim, you won a prize. Hey, how lucky can you get? What do we got here? Look at that, Jim. You got a terrific prize here. The telegram says a PS on it, too. You and a lucky home player have each won a prize. It's an official size badminton set, complete with four steel shaft rackets, two shuttlecocks, a net, pull stakes, and a whole enchilada. And there you are, and that's for you. And it's from the schoolie residents, and they'll also receive one, right? One for someone at home there, the schoolie folks watching at home. Thank you, CJ. We'll see you later. All right. All right, we're moving right along now. The green vote's gonna, uh, green team at home's gonna vote now and tell us how many uh, hexes Melissa's gonna move. Okay, green team, touch in now. All right, Melissa, they're touching in. We're gonna see where you go. Have you made up your mind yet where you're moving if you get this? Yeah. Have you? Okay. All right, Melissa, watch the board. Coming up, we're gonna light those lights. Oh, one move, Melissa. One's all you need, one at a time. Okay, what? Did two go? Oh, you got one more, Melissa. All right, you're in the two. Oh, boy, Melissa, this is terrific. You won't believe what you got this time. You ready for this? Yeah. You have just landed on the sit-on-it hex. All right? You ready for that? Yeah. Melissa, you have to break five balloons in 30 seconds by sitting on them one at a time. Now, you just take them. When I say go, you pull them out of there and sit on it and break the balloon. You got to do five of them in 30 seconds, okay? Can you handle that? I Is the clock set? Are we ready? Go ahead, Melissa, you're off. Come on, Melissa. All right, there's one. Get her on, Red Team. Two. All right, three. As they say, Melissa, you should have seen the one that got away. There was one went all over the place here. Did we get any of that on you back here? Are you all right? Let's hear it, red team! Hey! All right! Let's hear it, green team! 
I got such a headache. All right, are you ready now? Okay, now what? Who? What? We're voting. Are we not voting? Melissa did what? She won a prize also. Congratulations, Melissa. Look at this. You got an AM FM radio. It's portable. It's got batteries, or you can plug it in, and it's a good, strong one too. Congratulations, Melissa. Is that great, Red Team? Huh? Thank you, CJ. We'll let CJ uh, guard the prizes for you, all right? Okay. Okay, now, Red Team, are you ready to vote on Jim here? How many spaces is Jim going to move? Red Team, touch in now. You're going to have to get on here, boy. We got some nice prizes. Make some, you got to map your strategy. Remember, that hex there is free, okay? You can include that in your strategy. All right, we're waiting for our lights. Coming up, oh, one move. Where are you going, Jim? You got one to go. Remember, you're going across the board, so pick one that will fit in your strategy. Okay, I'm right here. Aha! Hey, 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 right up here in his elbow. He just does, doesn't mess around. Okay, Jim, you ready for this one? Yeah. You have landed on the Mother Goose Hex. Okay, home team, pay attention. There's nothing funny about that. This is serious stuff, kids. We got gigglers back here. Have you met her? Shirley Giggler. She lives on the end. Okay, Mother Goose team. Home team, in which line is there a mistake? Watch carefully. We may even sing this. Went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came fumbling after. Okay, all right. Home team, where's the mistake? In line one, Jack and Jill went up the hill. Line two, to fetch a pail of water. Line three, Jack fell down and broke his crown. Line four, Jill came fumbling after. Where is the mistake? Home team, touch now. One, two, three, or four. You think they'll get it, Jim? Yeah. Did you get it psyched? Don't tell me what it is, but did you know where it is? Yeah. yeah do you? Okay. They're touching in now. Do we... Oh, they said, and Jill came fumbling after. <laughs> they missed it, didn't they? No. Oh, okay. Just want to know if you're paying attention, Jim. That's right. It's not Jill came fumbling after, but you have to tell us what the correct line is. What's the correct line, Jim? Jill came tumbling after. All right, green team! You got that hex, Jim. Nice moving there. All righty. All right, Jim, you stand right on there. Don't anybody take that hex away from you. Green team out there at home, we're going to vote now for Melissa and give her a number of hexes to move. Ready? Touch now. Green team. Watch behind you there, Melissa. <laughs> Tell me how many we get. Here it comes. Ta -da. Ah, oh boy, a lollapalooza. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait stand back here. You got to think this over. Did you think it over? Yeah. Well, you're a fast thinker. <laughs> Three moves, Melissa, go ahead. All right, Melissa, let's see where you landed. Aha, you're gonna love this one. This is the hat trick. Did you ever play hockey? Um, no. Okay, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> it's a hat trick, we have to, you have to decide what's in the hat, but you're gonna have to do that blindfolded. Let me have the blindfold, please. Would you put that on the set? Let's turn this way, Melissa. Put the blindfold on, no for peeking. Okay. Can you see? No. Oh, that's good. All right. Now, we want you to turn around here, Melissa, and put your hands in the hat in front of you. Okay, Melissa? Turn around here. Let's see. Where are we? Can you tell me? <laughs> Can you tell me what's in that hat, Melissa? A rabbit? A rabbit! Red T, what do you say? Look at that. <laughs> okay. That, is that a win? Oh, you did it, Melissa. You won that game. That's terrific. Let's hear it, Red Team. Okay, now you can see the strategy right over here. Now you wonder about how do you make across the board. Well, there it is. One, two, three, four, and across the board. Okay, we'll tell you more about that. Listen, you got you won that game. Congratulations to you, and you won a lot of terrific prizes. Okay, all right, you go back over there and sit down. And Jim, congratulations to you too. You won some great prizes too. We'll have some more for you later. All right, sit down there. Okay, listen, we're gonna be right back and with uh, more on across the board after you watch these scenes from one of Cube's great movies. Okay, they'll be coming your way soon on. P3. Let's watch. A carnival in Costa Rica brings Cesar Romero and Celeste home together with comic extras. And then, then 
see. Oh, yeah, I, I remember. I, I got to thinking about my wife. Ah, is that me? Then, then, oh, yes, yes, ah. I remember. See. Directly across the street see. from the second house with the green shirt. Ah, with the green... That's my house. So it is. Oh, so you have company, senor? Ah, take us there at once. Drive as fast as you can. Faster! Eh? Watch this movie classic today on Cube Channel P3. Okay, Red Team, let's hear it for a winner here. Melissa did a great job on that, and Melissa, in addition to the prize you've already received, we got some more here. Come over here with that, uh, CJ. Oh, there's a Tyco over and under electric racing game. Oh, what else you got here? <laughs> uh, pottery craft outfit for you. Can you handle that, Melissa? All right, what else? What's this? A sub chase pinball and sn Snickers. She can't hold all that. I have to think. And now while you're doing that, here, let's see you spin the hula hoop. Can you do that? Anything else? What do we leave out? That's it? Okay, we got everything? All right, Melissa, listen. The, the red team, our te red team, you did great that time. The red team won the first game of across the board using four hexagons, and we'll use that total as the start of a new competition between the red team and the green team. Home players, you'll see your total team score rise every time your player wins a game in the studio. Now, in this game, what do we got here? The red team, huh, Melissa? All right. She was playing for the red team, and she won using si uh, four. Four, well, three, actually with the free space, three hexagons. So the starting score for this competition is reds, three. Okay, reds, three, greens, two. All right, let's hear it, red team. All right. But we'll be in there fighting, right, green team? Huh, we'll be in there fighting. Okay, three lucky members of the winning team will win great new portable television sets, too, at the end of the week. So all you home players over there, you watch your scores carefully and always play your best. Okie dokie. Now we got two new players coming up. Hmm? Where are they? Adam Moyer and Greg Mazzola. Where's Adam Moyer? Hi, Adam. How are you? We got a red team player here. CJ's going to clear our hexes for us, okay? I'll stand right back here with uh, Adam Moyer. Okay, Adam. And over here is Greg Mazzola. Come over here, Greg. We got two new players, okay? Now, Greg, what's, uh, uh, how old are you? Eight. You're eight years old and you go to school, I suppose. Yeah. You like school? Yeah. Are you good in school? Kind of. Kind of good in school? You're not afraid to bring your report card home, are you? No. Boy, I used to be, I'll tell you that. I used to take the long way home on report card day. And I'm, I'll tell you that. And here is Greg. How are you, Greg? Fine. You're representing the green team, right? Right. Gonna go in there and fight? Yeah. Fight, fight, fight for the green team. What yeah. school do you go to? St. Michael's. St. Michael's? You got a girlfriend? Yeah. Have you? Want to, uh, want to tell me who it is? No. You won't tell anybody? Huh? No. You don't tell it's okay by me, Greg. I know how to keep a secret. You can tell me later, all right? Yeah. Okay, Greg, you go stand over there in your spot. Adam, you stand over there. Okay, home players, keep your team assignments that we made at the top of the show. Remember that? Right at the beginning, that's going to be your assignment all week long. So if you're on the red team, you're playing with Adam. And if you're on the green team, you're playing with Greg. All right? Ready to start? Okay, we start over on the red team. Green Green vote, green team, touch in now to tell us how many moves we're going to make with Adam. Green team, touch now. Okay, Adam, let's watch it light up. Adam's eyes are already lit up. Your eyes up, light up, fast up. Oh, we got two, Adam, go ahead. Two moves is what you get, two hexagons. Go ahead, Adam. One, two. Adam takes about eight steps per hex. Did, you, did he go three? One, try it again, will you, Adam? See, this one counts. Okay, one, two. Okay, Adam. You are, uh oh, this is the color zapper. Doesn't a, huh? Aha, okay, we're on the ESP. You landed on the ESP hex. Okay, now, we have four cards for you. I want you to take a look at them. Okay, see them? Four cards. All right, now, I want you to take one of these cards and hold it tightly against your chest, but don't show it to anybody. Just you and I will know which card it is, all right? Pick a card. Hold it against your chest. Okay, now, home players, 
which card did Adam choose? If you use your ESP, you'll get it right. Did he choose number one, number two, number three, or number four? There's two, there's three, and there's four, okay? Which one did he pick? Use your ESP, are you concentrating? Okay, Adam's concentrating, and all you players out there, red players, concentrate. Which one did he pick? Touch now. Was it the roller skates, the skateboard, the bicycle, or the motorcycle? Okay? Which one was it? We get an answer from the computer. It was number two. Let's see which one you got, Greg, or Adam. Hey, look at this, red team, number two. <laughs> How's that for ESP? Here's your hex. Okay, CJ, you take the cards. All right. Okay, now we got a prize for you, too, on that one, boy. Look at here. It's a terrific skateboard for you, all right? Is that great? Fiberglass board. It's got ball bearing wheels on it. You'll be careful on it, won't you? And we got a bonus, too. Somebody at the Mosley residence will receive one of these also. All right, let's hear it, red team. Hey, you know something? I don't, I don't know if you realize what's going on here, but do you realize you're playing a game with a whole lot of people that are at home watching you on TV? Isn't that terrific? Hey, everybody, isn't that great? Let's hear that for everybody out there. We're all playing a game together. Okay, red vote. We got to move Greg over here and get him started. All you red players out there, touch in now to move Greg. How many spaces shall he move? All the red players, touch. Okay, Greg. All right, we got to see how many we get here. Watch that board. Everybody at home is one. Oh, look at that, a Lollapalooza. You got three of them, Greg. Make three moves. Okay. Greg, I got some good news and I got some bad news. <laughs> He's looking at me funny, funny. Okay, good news and bad news. You win this hex automatically. You don't have to do a thing. Isn't that terrific? Huh? Look at that. A freebie for you. You ready for the bad news? Uh, y y it's going to cost you your next turn. You miss a turn. Ah, uh, I'm sorry about that, Greg, but that's show business, okay? Now you're going to get two turns, Adam. You could wrap this thing up almost. You were aware of that? All right, green team out there. Get ready to touch in for Adam here and how many spaces he's going to move, how many hexes. Touch now. Green team, all right? All right. Adam's got his eyes glued on that board back there. Beep. What do you say, Adam? Goom. One move. All right. Oh, Adam's got his strategy all figured out. I can read your mind a mile away, Adam. Aha! We are at the do-it hex. Are you ready for that? Okay. You've got to put three Nerf balls in the baskets in 30 seconds with those two cherry pickers or whatever they are. Okay? Three Nerf balls out of this whole bunch over here. Okay? 30 seconds. Are you ready? The clock is set. Yes. Go, Adam. All right, cheer him on there, red team. There's one. And there's two. One more, Adam. Come on, Adam. One more. Get it, Adam. Uh, one more. <laughs> stay in the studio, Adam. You gotta stay on this show. All right. <laughs> Did we make it in 30 seconds? Hey, that's terrific. And Adam worked so hard on that. I forgot where you're standing. Was it right here? Okay, Adam, you were so busy, I didn't know where you went, okay? There you go. Now you stand on that hex over there, and you did that so well, you get a prize. Adam, what do we got for Adam over here? Oh, look at the brand new game that's sweeping the country. That's called backgammon, okay? That's a terrific game. Your mom made me teach you how to play it. It's portable, it's easy to learn, and you're gonna love it, okay, Adam? All right, red team, what do you say? We're doing great. He gets another turn, does he not? He gets two in a row. Okay, are you ready now, green team? Touch in, and we'll see how many more Adam gets to move. You see what's going on here, Adam? You see where you're headed? Okay, the green team's touching in now. If you get a deuce, you're in good shape. Let's watch. If you get two, you could wrap it up, Adam. Uh-oh! Now, you gotta think this out. I'm all nervous. Oh, all right, Adam, now. I want you to concentrate and figure out where you would go to get four in a row across the board, and you gotta move three times. 
Okay? Think it over. Very carefully. You're making me you're making me nervous. You know where you want to end up? Huh? Over there. Okay, go ahead, Adam. Oh, he's on the hex. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> Adam played that. Tra All right, Adam's got the strategy down real good. Now let's see where you landed, Adam. This is the oh, <laughs> I don't believe this. Are you ready for this, Adam? I'm not ready for this. You're on the. You're on a change places hex. You have to change places with your opponent, and nobody wins a hex this time. Oh. Okay, stand over there, right over there, and you come and you stand right over here, Greg. Now, isn't that the, now that's not what, that's what I call bad news. That's bad news. Well, we'll get him next time, all right, Adam? Okay, all right, we got Greg over here, and Greg's championing the bitch because he wants to get even. All you red team members out there, touch it now, see how many moves Greg's going to make. Okay, red team, touch. Behind us, you peek, while I get nervous. Okay, tell me how many you get, will you? Because you got to get moving. We got to score some hexes. Oh, what the hex? All right, let's. Oh, look at there. We got another full house. You got to move three. Gesundheit. You got to move three of them. <laughs> you got to move three of them. Greg, are you ready? Now let's see where you are. There's your green hexes over there, and you've got to get across the board, and you got to move three. So figure out your strategy and make your move. Three moves. Hey, boy, he's got his act together. Okay. <laughs> You're going to love this one. All right, you ready? This one is called Up Your Nose. Let me have the blindfold, please. Put it on. All right. Greg, home players, we're going to show you three smells now. Which do you think will be the easiest for your teammate to identify? Number one, number two, or number three? Let's see it. Three smells. Where are they? There we go. Now, don't anybody read them out loud. Which one do you think Greg will have the least amount of trouble identifying? You want him to smell number one, number two, or number three? Which one? Touch now. Touch now. One, two, or three. Okay. Number one. Okay, Greg. Are you ready? Can you smell through that thing? Get a whiff of this. Mm. Did you get in? Mm -hmm. What is it? Huh? Can you tell me what that was? No. You can't. I'll give it to you again. <laughs> whiff. I can an tell onion? you. Huh? An onion? It's an onion! All right! <laughs> I don't see. Look at that thing. Look at the size of that. You couldn't miss that. Wow. All right. You got that hex. Let's have a green hex over here. All right. Uh-oh, there's our signal, Greg. All right, listen, everybody. Reds and greens, our time has run out for today. Uh, both of you will keep your own hexes, okay? And we'll pick up from this point and complete the game on tomorrow's show, okay? All right, in a moment, we'll switch you over to the banana show, and they're having a great time. First, we got a problem that we'll let the folks here in the studio help us with. Uh, you know what we got to do? What? We got to name our rabbit, all right? Where's the rabbit? Bring our rabbit out here, okay? Can you think of a name for that rabbit? Huh? No. Well, let's go over here and talk to Adam. Adam, mm. do you, do you, do you, have you got any idea what you'd like to name that rabbit? Hmm? It's a white, furry, fuzzy rabbit. You got a name? Angel. Angel? That's a good name, right? Hey, that sounds good. What about you over here on the green team? What do you think about a name for that rabbit? What would you name the rabbit? Mm. Snowball. Huh? Snowball. Snowball. I would name the uh, rabbit. I happen to know that this rabbit is from Iowa. So I would name it Cedar. That's because it would be Cedar Rabbit, Iowa. Oh, we could turn this place into a garage pretty quick, I'll tell you that. Anybody else got a clever name like I had? Frosty. Frosty, the snow rabbit. What about you? Huh? Pinky. Pinky. It's not bad. Pinky's good. Why? Because of the eyes? Mm -hmm. Rabbits have pink eyes? Okay. And what would you I name? I don't her? know. You don't know what to name rabbit? 
Snow White. Snow White and the Seven Rabbits. Okay, listen. Well, we're going to continue to talk about possible names here in the show uh, today and come up with our best name And while we're watching Bananas, okay? On Wednesday, we'll let you know what the name of the rabbit is, okay? On the very first Hexen game. Meantime, Bob Marvin saying, Bananas, it's all yours. Bye, everybody.